Okay, I still wanted to look at uh, being able to achieve that fillet and moi uh, without going to another program. And uh, uh, Danny actually hit on it the other day, and he was uh, mentioning um, f putting a radius on this back trailing edge would allow it to fillet properly. And uh, what I had done, I told him I had tried that. What I had done, though, was I actually filleted this from this hard edge, which then creates uh, seams very in that small little fillet you put back here. So there's two little seams there. And that uh, continued to bugger up the fillet if you went uh, any larger than something very small. And so what I then looked to do was create one contiguous surface uh, instead. And so I used a del I blended again to get... Uh, the end of my uh, trailing edge as one contiguous surface. And then the, se the other second part I did was uh, I modeled that sweep back that's this part back here, which we were trying, before we just had a straight wing and we were trying to make the fillet sweep it all the way back, but I sweeped a bunch of that in there. And uh, the way I did that was using lofts. I'll show you that in a minute. But first thing I'm gonna do is uh, is uh, show you the the rear blend uh, to make one contiguous surface which first what we did and you saw the other day was uh, we blended here and uh, 3 3.5 okay so that's pretty close uh, close enough for now we could put that down to 3.46 or until it until it matches there or whatever but anyway and uh, just for the idea here um, so there's that blend now what I want to do is a blend from here back to make one contiguous blend this way and that'll allow us to do what we want uh, first I want to keep this uh, blended curve as a single because I don't want seams in it so I'm gonna break it though so right now I'm gonna copy and paste control C control V and then uh, what that's gonna allow me to do now is uh, let's see I'm gonna color that that's the full one that I want to keep and now I'm gonna trim this one drag a construction line and just put a line right there that I can trim. Trim. Okay. And now what I can do is I can use these two and uh, blend backwards and make my trailing edge as one long contiguous blend. And now what I have are actually two pieces. Well, let's go ahead and get rid of those that I trim now and then bring back the one that I saved, which is this one. And now I have two contiguous pieces. So if I join these together, I can do it. If I wanted to get rid of the whole thing, I could rebuild and there'll be one seam, but I can just join those there and leave that seam right in that upper um, middle area, which is in the large surface, but that won't affect the fillet. And then what I did um, was you can create your you can create some cross sections to loft a wing and uh, <clears throat> you can control the curvature and where it goes uh, by using those lofts. So here's what I did to create a wing. I just <clears throat> I made the couple to keep the wing shape and then and then this is these were to make the kink. You might put a couple more in there, but it was the same thing you saw the other day. And then at the very end, I actually took uh, one and I extended it way back. Uh, just by actually even scaling it, not by, uh, you know, creating more different size curves. I just took these last couple, made a couple right in a row because I wanted the curvature to happen right there instead of starting way back. But, uh, you know, putting your loft curves, of course, you can control where that happens. And that makes this wing here that has that sweep start to go back. But that trailing edge now is a clean, contiguous surface all the way around. There's no seam there. And so what that allows me to do, I just took that lofted surface that you see there and I put it over here as a copy. Now I can uh, Boolean union those. And I get um, curves now. See that last one is one contiguous curve that the fillet can read. And then I can go in and I put a, uh, a fillet on it. And it allows it to actually uh, do a uh, three inch fillet on the model that I made obviously it would be whatever size but it goes all the way and that back end doesn't bugger up actually you can zoom all the way in and uh, it makes it really it just really does a good job of that the whole way and it's a solid yeah so um I just wanted to show that in though it's actually I think what someone would be going for in the model it's really a nice cool uh, uh, wing curvature and then you can you know obviously setting up your profiles anyway I wanted to show that uh, 
kudos to Danny on that. 